right, you're welcome back. And um, after that's a very real segment of Robbie Minds, we're going to try and lighten things up a bit. Like I said, I have you with me, a comedian, uh, extraordinaire, Omo mm. Baba. Fine boy. Thanks for being here today. <laughs> it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. I didn't know we planned this blue. <laughs> yeah, I'll be, I should this ask you. How's it going, man? How's everything with you? Oh, bless God. How's the comedy industry treating you? Oh, well, as you can see. No, it's not the way I look yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit different, and um, you know, a bit cumbersome though. Uh, cumbersome in the sense that um, people expect so much uh, from what you're given, and that's not a problem. But cumbersome in the sense that uh, people don't know who owns what uh, in my industry. Okay. That's that's that's. How do you mean by what do you mean by that? Uh, okay. Well, um, I sit down at home. I'm watching my TV and I'm hearing myself, but I'm not the one saying it. <laughs> Are you talking about stolen jokes? Yes, it's, it's, it's part of the problem. Is that the biggest problem in your industry? Uh, well, for me, personally, or one of the biggest. W maybe the major. Um, for me personally, I don't. I, I said to myself, if you're a creator, people will steal from you. But when it's so much that there's no, you know, there's no limit to it. You go as far as hearing my material, acting it out, putting it out as kits, getting downloads, making money from it, then, then that's the problem. That's the general problem. When you see comedians do yeah. this, do yeah. you approach them? And no, no, that, that's another part of it. Uh, a, a, a Bobby will not do Omo Baba. Omo Baba will not do Bobby. Omo Baba, we don't want to step on the Benga Denka or Benga Denka doing Omo Baba. TA cannot. Uh, do Teju, Teju will not do TA. But you know, when I see the younger colleagues using your like. bacteria, um, there's no need to mention it. Okay. Because I just mentioned they are younger colleagues. You know, so when you see them using your materials, uh, the, the headache is no, like uh, Don Jesse will say, is looking for credit. They won't give you credit. Even ordinary five seconds to call, they won't give you your credit. Which, um, to them, they don't understand that. Mentioning it for a second, people are not listening. They are still watching you. So it's your job, it's your show. You just say, oh, I heard this from a senior colleague or a senior colleague of mine or a comedian friend, so, so, so person said this. At that moment, I remember that person for a second. Oh, okay, yeah, that's came out. Said what? And you are the one saying the story. At the end of the day, if somebody wants to come to you and say, thank you, wonderful show, he won't say, Thank you, basketball, wonderful show. We say, you did well, Omo Baba. You know, that's just the little thing that people uh, take for granted. But, but, so but if, if you see these things happen and you don't call them out on it, how do you yeah, expect them to change? Well, well, one, two of my colleagues have called one, two, or three out. But, you know, uh, they keep saying the comedy industry is an industry whereby everybody is united. Yes, to an extent. But, you know, you can't, you can't flood it much. Now, let me, <laughs> let, let me bust your bubble. After someone cracking your jokes on stage, and the person comes to you right there inside the hall and tells you, "Boss, I do and well, Abby. <laughs> what do you do?" <laughs> and he has he has a standing ovation and all that. But I've had several of my colleagues, you know, call them just because just, I know comedians complain about it a lot, and I wonder why it's, no one has tried to. Yeah, you know, the country where we are saying happy 41, 45 naira. Uh, you want to come on? <laughs> Everybody is looking for a way to survive, but it's it for, for me is more of a, you know working more. Yeah. Working if if I can take time to read what does not concern me, if I can take time to keep watching what I do need to watch. Uh, people say you're a comedian; they don't believe that you need to know what's going on around your environment. So if I can take my own time to study and you know, do other things so that I can get you to laugh, so that uh, a professor will see me and will not just look at me as a riffraff and see me as someone that is part of the society the way it used to be before. Yeah. So, you know, if I can take time to do all that, I think I can do more yeah. for others too. So, the, the era of uh, when the boy come fall down, you come knock it for floor, really is, is, is really going down. So, if you don't know what you're doing, you can't, you can't make money from the industry. But you know, you senior colleagues are also often a key. I'm a small boy. <laughs> I mean, you call your uh, name amongst uh, some uh, of the big uh, boys. Uh, uh, okay. you, right? <laughs> but you've also been accused by the up or younger comedians mm. as well of 
stealing their own jokes. I mean, we hear so many times, oh, we're organizing a talent hunt mm -hmm. somewhere in Enugu or mm -hmm. I don't know, Medugu, whatever it is, and you gather these people and then they tell you jokes and of course you guys write it down and then you go use it okay. in your shows. That uh, happens definitely. Uh, okay, I, I, Alibaba came up with something called spontaneity with Alibaba. So you come, pick a topic and crack a joke. Okay, I'm, I'm part of the judges that we do the first set of selection and uh, you have about 200 comedians coming in and they say they are comedians and you hear what they are saying and you're like, oh God, you are not funny. But you can't be, you can't go all out, that you're not funny. I started somewhere, but at this stage, it's, so you're saying it, you don't do it's, it? it's better than never. But people do it. So maybe, maybe, I don't know. Of, I've seen one or two, yes. I've seen, I even have proofs on my phone. I've seen one of two, um, uh, a joke that was written by a young comedian, SLK, being told by another uh, senior colleague of his. Uh, but, you know, I told him immediately. I said, that means you are doing well. Who was that? <laughs> I, you know, Who he, was the person? He, his name is SLK. He's a stand-up comedian. And a senior colleague did his joke. I won't mention that as a senior colleague. Why? Uh, trust me. You I need to call them out. Uh, so uh, no, 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 no. I'm, not, I'm, <laughs> I'm not seeking for attention. You know? But I, I told him that you don't have to complain now. Now you see the way it is. He was so bitter about it. I said, you see the way it is. When I'll sit down and I'll be hearing my joke somewhere. Yeah. And I won't complain. I said, but now you can see that you're doing well. So if your joke makes sense to that person, for him to crack it, that means you're doing well. I, I, I remember a big name in the comedy industry now. I, I actually went behind to tell this other that, that your boy, somebody wants to crack his joke now. He said, really? The one you did yesterday night in Lagos? I said, yes. And he said, okay, I'll call him on stage to come and perform. And that was the beginning of his career. And he's big today. 